Hello, welcome back. Good to see you again. This time I'm uh, I'm in my new home office where I, I hope the sound is, is a lot better than in my previous videos. This video was uh, unfortunately a bit delayed as I have been busy with, uh, with other work. In the meantime, it has been uh, a great pleasure to to receive so many comments and and questions on on my other videos, I'm I'm very surprised at uh, at how much more interaction there is here on on YouTube than on any other social media. Feel free to to uh, ask questions in, in in the comment section. I will I will answer everyone as uh, as as soon as I can. Today we are we are going to to try to play with frozen objects, not frozen in 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 the photographic sense with with a speed light, but but really frozen in in the freezer. The objects that are placed in 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 a container with with water added and and then placed in 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 the freezer. All the objects could could easily have been uh, have been subjects on their own, but uh, but freezing them down adds a little extra. They. They look unusual. There's uh, more texture around them, and uh, and the light can be refracted in, in in a different way than in 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 an ordinary macro photo. They will look uh, interesting in 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 a new way. I always uh, encourage you to to experiment in in my videos. This is especially true today. When when things get get frozen down, the the ice naturally becomes an, an extra element in in the photos. So um, it can be it can be more or less transparent. It can have uh, varying surfaces and and it 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 reflects light from from the surface that you would actually in most cases prefer to to avoid. <clears throat> You can place the frozen items on on the glass dish or, or or similar from from the kitchen. Then it's it's easy to to place your your light below it. Uh, I will I will show you some of my of my setups in 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 this video. But but they should not be be regarded as 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 recipes. Experiment on 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 your own. Sometimes the light has to come. Uh, directly from below, other times indirectly using white paper. Uh, and, and, and sometimes it has to be in intense and, and, and other times it has to be be diffused somehow. In 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 some cases you you can take the photos while the objects are are in, in the frozen container. Other times it is best to to take the objects out of them and uh, and maybe rinse the eyes in, 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 in water to make the surface more more transparent. Uh, but uh, enough talk for now. Let's let's go down to the basement and uh, and make some photos.
Well, that, that turned out to be quite a long one, but it's, uh, it's so easy to get carried away with photos like this. I hope I inspired you, and, uh, and please like and, and, and subscribe if, uh, if, if you like my channel, and, and feel free to, to ask questions in, in the comment section. And uh, I will see you again next week. Stay safe. Bye bye.